Good morning, everyone. Welcome, parents, family, friends, and TVKA Tigers to our STEM Student of the Month Award Ceremony for the month of April. We are so happy and excited that you could all join us today as we celebrate our Tigers who have demonstrated the STEM, STEM trait of perseverance. No, it's inquisitive. Yeah, it's inquisitive. <laughs> Today I'd like to introduce some of the people who make this event possible. We have Ms. Tuminella here. We have Ms. Wonderly. Ms. Kay. Ms. Noel. Ms. Downing, Ken Downing. Then we have our administrator. We have Lara Brown. And I don't know if we have any of our middle school assistant principals in here. And Mr. Weaver, who films every single one of them. So thank you so much for making that possible. And Ms. Bell, who's not here today. She has a sick child. This year, our theme as a school is Leading Everyone in Growth Opportunities, the acronym for which is LEGO. So everything's been LEGO this year. Because we believe that it takes everyone in our school community to learn and grow, we have utilized the theme in conjunction with our STEM traits. Each trait is represented by a LEGO figurine who exemplifies the STEM trait. April's STEM trait of inquisitive is represented in the student certificates by a LEGO figurine representing the science field. Scientists are natural inquirers. They seek to ask questions and are curious about the world around them. Scientists use in inquiry to discover new solutions, methods, or elements to explain the world around them. This is why scientists' Lego minifigure is re represented on the month's STEM certificates. Today, we honor all of our tigers who have demonstrated their inquisitive nature at TVK8. Thank you all for being the models of questioning and curiosity in your daily learning. I'd like to welcome Ms. Wonderly to the stage to MC the awards. Good morning. All right, just a couple of kind of housekeeping things. You have two name tags today. You have one that was loose on your chair and one that was taped. So I, what I need you to do is as your grade level is called, take the one that is loose and you're gonna come up here with the guidance counselors. They're gonna help you get up on stage. Hand it to me so that I can be sure that I read the correct name. Your teachers have written some wonderful things about you, and as we do each grade level, I'll wait until the end to applaud, and then parents, family, and friends will be able to come closer for a picture. And last but not least, you come up on the stage, hand me your name, come across, we've got some goodies for you, and then just stand and wait till the end of the grade level. Everyone will clap and applaud and then go down the stairs on the other side. And Ms. Knowles is on that side to help guide you back to your seat. Mr. Weaver is recording, so parents, you can find the recording of today on Twitter, our YouTube channel, uh, and you can also share that with family and friends that aren't close. All right. We're going to start off with pre-K, and I have two great people here. So this is Emma, and Emma is very observant in the world around her. If something changes in our classroom, she's the first to notice and ask questions about the difference. Emma is always excited to learn new concepts and to apply them to her personal life and experiences. Using those personal connections, she then forms her own questions. Valentine is curious about the world around her and she loves to learn. She asks many questions and enjoys sharing what she has learned with the class. Valentine has wonder in her heart. Keep asking questions, Valentine. And we do have one more pre-K student, Frankie. 
Frankie is certainly an inquisitive little boy in the classroom environment. He loves to explore all the materials we use each day in the context of our class activities. He also loves to spend time with his teachers throughout the school day and explore with his friends during outdoor playtime. He has made a great deal of progress during his time at TBKA and we are very proud of his accomplishments. are our pre-K students of the month. Kindergarten, if you would stand and look to Ms. Downing, she's going to help kindergarten get up on stage. And pre-K parents, if you are here, you can come closer to get a picture at this time. off in kindergarten we have a marine she loves new things she learns a lot by asking as many questions as she can this is Ikanch and, and he has a very inquisitive mind and always asks questions about all subjects he helps his class to think about questions and answers that are useful in stretching their thinking for further learning a curious child, he will ask questions if he doesn't understand something. Jaden is full of wonder and curiosity. He always asks questions about things he doesn't know and consistently seeks to learn new information. He is eager for knowledge. Mrs. Travis, he is an excellent example of an inquisitive student because he is always questioning and thinking out loud. He displays higher order thinking and a contagious curiosity to learn more. We're so thankful for him and his contributions to our class. Teddy is our STEM student of the month because he is eager for knowledge and curious about the world around him. He is not afraid to ask questions and express his thoughts with others. I always look forward to what he is going to say or ask when I see him his hand up in the air. It's students like Teddy that encourage teachers to learn with their with students and keep us on our toes. Addie is a diligent student. She is inquisitive during lessons and when working with peers. Addie asks questions to learn new information and will also try to find the answers to these questions. And we do we have another um, young lady that's just a little shy, it's a lot to walk across in front of you guys. Giada is such a dedicated and hardworking student. She loves to share her ideas and is eager to discover new information with others in class. And these are our kindergarten students of the month. First grade, if you would stand and look to Miss Downing, she's going to help you get up on stage. In kindergarten, family, and friends, feel free to come closer for a picture. Isaac has a love for learning and a very curious mind. He loves asking why and learning new things. Way to go, Isaac. Ian is always questioning and wondering during learning. 
He gets everyone thinking deeply, and we are so proud of you. Ava is always asking questions to find out answers. She is curious about the world around her. Ava wants to know more about everyday situations to gain more knowledge. Sufyan is very inquisitive. He is always questioning things in the classroom and at school. He asks questions about how things work, why things are happening, and is always trying to make sense of the world around him. Ray is very inquisitive in the classroom. He is always curious about the why, how, and what if of things. He likes to ask questions to find out more about what we're learning. Amira always asks lots of questions. She is very inquisitive. Way to go, Amira. William is always asking questions and wondering about the world around him. He is very curious and asks questions to learn more. Amu always wants to know more. She asks questions to me and her peers to, to grow her knowledge. She is engaged in learning, answers inquis inquiries, and is inquisitive when she doesn't understand something. We are impressed by her eagerness to learn. Bargava is always asking questions. Sometimes he asks questions that we have already answered. He is most certainly an inquisitive child and will go far in life. Riley is always asking questions and wanting to know more about the world around her. She asks relative and important questions. Way to go, Riley. And these are our first grade students for now. Second grade, if you would stand and look at Ms. Downing, she's going to help you get up on stage. First grade, parents, family, and friends, feel free to come closer for a picture. Grade. And let's hold our applause till the end of second grade. Sanaya is a hardworking student who is eager to learn and is always willing to help her classmates. Joshua has wonderful curiosity. He thinks about the world around him and wonders why it is and how he can learn from it. He asks wonderful questions and contributes to our think tank environment in class. His inquisitive nature has allowed him to make wonderful discoveries, and I know it will take him far. Carter has been nominated by two teachers this month. Carter is the best example of someone who is inquisitive. He is eager to learn and is always questioning new things to help him understand. He not only asks questions, but will come back the next day with more information and even more questions. I am inspired by his inquisitive nature and look forward to seeing him grow. Soren is the perfect example for the word inquisitive. He is constantly inquiring about how things work, asking questions, making connections, and wanting to gain more knowledge. Lucas is curious about the world around him. He loves to learn and ask questions about anything new that he encounters. It is no wonder that he is so knowledgeable about so many things. Karina was voted by her peers for the STEM Student of the Month of Inquisitive. Curiosity is a powerful ingredient in learning. She is a student who is always wanting to know more. She will be the first student to take out her tablet to research more about a topic we've talked about in class, and then will be so excited to share the new information with us. Chloe shows great interest in all subjects and topics we cover in class. She often asks deeper thinking questions to find out more. When she learns new information on her own, she is excited to share her learning with her classmates. Neve is always asking questions in order to enhance his comprehension across all subjects. His curiosity leads him to new ideas, 
to bring into classroom discussions. We're so lucky to have him in class. Elijah is inquisitive by nature and is always curious about the world around him. He often asks critical thinking questions during class that helps drive our lesson forward and challenges his peers. His love for acquiring new knowledge is shown when he is discovering new information through many experiments and researching the answers to his own questions. This is Car I want to say his name right. This is Carthy. I am proud to nominate him as the April STEM student of the month for being inquisitive. He is consistently raising his hand to ask questions in class and even ask for clarification from his, his teammates in group discussions. His inquisitive nature will help him learn new things both in and outside of school. And these are our second grade students of the month. In third grade, if you would stand and look to Ms. Downing, she's going to help you get up on stage. In second grade, family and friends, feel free to come closer for the picture. He is so inquisitive and asks many questions throughout the day. He loves all subjects and loves to learn. Jace has worked hard this year learning the third grade curriculum. Jace is curious about new concepts in math and especially science. He loves to look further into everything and get more information. Esteban has worked hard this year learning the third grade curriculum. He is very inquisitive about learning new concepts and continues to strive towards improvement academically. He exemplifies the STEM character trait of inquisitive. Though Rudy always approaches her learning with a curious desire to learn as much about the topic as possible. She is always willing to expand the discussion beyond the scope of the lesson. Sebastian is our STEM student of the month because he is inquisitive. He loves to ask questions and usually already knows the answer to his question. He is full of information and can remember just about anything. Sunbeat deserves our STEM Student of the Month Award for being inquisitive because she is never afraid to ask a question or help out her fellow peers. In PE class, she never stops thinking and is always finding new ways to improve her skills and assist those around her. Haley is a very inquisitive student. She is creative and is always thinking, asking, and wondering. She loves problem solving and is very good at it. Haley is also kind, respectful, and considerate to both her classmates and adults. Logan has a thirst for knowledge that cannot seem to be quenched. Knowing it for him is not enough. It is fully understanding that he is after. He loves learning and it is a pleasure to teach him each and every day. Anisha consistently questions the world around her. Her inquisitive nature dives deeper into, deeper than the third grade level and often leads to meaningful discussion. Chloe exhibits the characteristics of someone who is inquisitive. She is always asking questions as to how and why things work the way they do. She is also not afraid to question someone else's point of view if it doesn't align with hers. 
This promotes learning through peer questioning and continues the growth mindset. Raven is receiving this award because of her apparent tendency to actively inquire. When a sense of uncertainty falls over Raven, she does not hesitate to ask questions and or seek answers to those questions. Her inquisitive nature often leads to a deeper conceptualization of third grade math, science, and language arts concepts. Ayan is an amazing young lady who wants to know everything. We love inquisitive minds, and Ayan has one that she wants to know, are you sure, who, what, where, when, how, and most importantly, why? Thank you for keeping it interesting, and congratulations for being April STEM student of the month. And these are our third grade students of the month. Okay, fourth grade, if you would stand, look to Miss Downing, she's gonna get you up on stage. And third grade parents, family, and friends, feel free to come closer for a picture. nature and science by wondering what materials, if any, are in your litter. Jaden wasn't satisfied with his teacher's lack of knowledge on this topic, so he took it upon himself to research that very question and later shared the results with the class. We all learned something that day thanks to Jaden. Amaya has made great progress this year due to her thirst for knowledge and eagerness to learn. She asks questions and applies the new knowledge to consistently grow and improve. We are so proud of you. Matthew is an excellent candidate to receive this award. He is always asking insightful questions during instruction, generating homework questions for his peers to answer, and this mentally helps him to truly excel in all subject areas, especially science. Sheridan is driven by curiosity. I, know, I love how she seeks to explore the world around her. We often talk about her adventures. I admire her for organizing shared discovery expeditions with the kids in her neighborhood. They curiously go into the forest, discovering amazing things in their backyards. She starts talking, asking questions, and I can visualize that she is fueling her never-ending curiosity to uncover the unsolved mysteries of the universe. Madison is our student of the month for Inquisitive. She poses good questions to her classmates that help them think of information in a different way. She also makes sure to ask for clarification in a specific way when she doesn't understand the lesson or a new strategy in math and science. Our class has chosen Gavin as our Inquisitive STEM student of the month because he constantly is asking questions about the world around him to acquire to acquire more information. He is always curious about how things work, move, and thrive, and reads, explores, and compares ideas with others to find a possible solution. And this is Ian. Ian does a great job asking probing questions that lead him and the class into deeper understanding. Great job, Ian. And these are our fourth grade students of the month. Fourth grade parents, you can come closer for a picture at this time. And fifth grade, please look to Miss Downing. She's going to help you get up on stage.
on to the fifth grade. Starting us off, we have Connor. Connor is curious and wants to do the best he can. He has questions in class as well as in small groups. He tries very hard to get to the right answer even when he makes a mistake. Isabel is known for asking thoughtful questions and being able to lead discussions. She is a wonderful addition to our class and are very proud of her. Sophia it has a great inquisitive mind. She is always asking meaningful questions in class and even tries to locate different ways to find the answer she is looking for. Sophia also does a great job of actively listening to her classmates by asking questions about what they are sharing with her. Caleb is always asking questions and wants to be a part of new activities. Caleb is curious about the world around him and is a natural scientist. We have loved having him in our class and he is always encouraging us to learn more. Our class voted for Izzy because she is very curious. One student wrote, you can tell her the smallest thing and she will dig deep with questions. Another student wrote, Izzy deserves to be most inquisitive because she always asks questions, whether in math, reading, or science, about what we're doing or learning that day. Jackson has become very curious and interested in how to become a better reader and writer, as well as a good example to others. He's not afraid to ask questions when learning new strategies, and is a great example of how to stay highly motivated. Amelia is such a wonderful student to have. Along with the abundant supply of knowledge she already has, she possesses a great amount of curiosity about many topics. Ms. Kogan's class has nominated Kira for the Student of the Month Award for being inquisitive. She always asks questions in class if she doesn't understand or if she just wants to dig a little deeper. If an answer is marked wrong, she wants to find out what the answer should have been and how to arrive at it. Our class is lucky to have such a role model. Casey has an inquisitive mind. She is always curious about the world around her and eager to learn more about it. She's never afraid to ask questions to gain more knowledge. <laughs> Zachary is especially interested in acquiring knowledge about topics we discuss in class. He has a special curiosity to dig into the discussions, which provides a deeper knowledge base and enrichment for himself and his classmates. And these are our fifth grade students of class. Okay, sixth grade, if you would stand, look to Miss Downing. And fifth grade parents and friends, feel free to come closer for a picture. We have Riley. Riley is being nominated for the perseverance, no, nope, not for perseverance, for inquisitive, for working hard and trying her best. She has an outstanding work ethic and she strives to receive A's on every assignment. She is an excellent student. Our class nominated Hunter to, for the inquisitive award today because Hunter exhibits curiosity and learning and is inherently a good, kind person. Being inquisitive is the driving force behind discovery, and discovery leads to things like justice, inventions, and an eagerness for knowledge. Inquiry is Cadil's middle name. He constantly seeks out information to further expand his knowledge and understanding. 
His inquisitive questions are always thought-provoking and lead to lively class discussion. In addition, once the new information clicks with him, the excitement on his face is priceless. Ronan is a very strong reader and likes in-depth knowledge on why we do certain things and likes to keep the end in mind while participating in class. This is Aaron. No, he's not going to let me hug him. He's also known as A.A. Ren. A.A. Ron. He asks questions, trying to improve his work by asking questions. Aaron is always seeking more information, and he truly has a need to know. And as his mama, I can agree with that. <laughs> Kiana is given to an investigation whenever she is given a math problem to solve. She is inclined to ask questions when she is confused about a topic. She will either ask the teacher or classmates. Her curiosity about math topics and challenging questions is amazing. It is said that the mind of curious people is active. They want to know and to understand. Jacob is known to be inquisitive by his peers who also describe him as a student that is always asking questions. We hope he continues to develop this quality as it will help his mind to continue to grow and get stronger in years ahead. Michael is always inquisitive. His favorite word is why. He represents inquisitive. He likes to know all about a subject, and nonfiction books are his favorite because they help him answer why. Carlos received this award due to inquisitive nature. He is always up for a challenge when it comes to a difficult math problem. Maya has been nominated by two teachers this month. She is a curious girl who works hard to find answers. She is eager for knowledge and will continue questioning until she can figure it out. Maya's inquisitive nature motivates her to learn new skills. Aziz, like he loves to be called, has an inquisitive mind. Always asking questions during class, he is always interested in a wide range of topics and forever likes to learn. He wants to discover as much as he can every day. His enthusiasm for learning makes him a very special student in our classroom. Ellie is naturally curious and always questioning why things happen in science. She is eager to explore the answers. Good job, Ellie. And these are our sixth grade students of the month. Seventh grade, if you would stand and look to Miss Downing and sixth grade parents, go ahead and come closer for a picture. Neona is constantly in search of knowledge and inquisitive by nature. In the math classroom, she frequently asks questions that push her understanding of the content, building her knowledge and the knowledge of the students that she works with. She is a hard worker that doesn't stop until she has reached and learned as much as she can. Hanan is always engaged and active during PD. He never hesitates to ask questions about how he can improve on skills or what he can do to make his game or his team's game more successful. 
and this is Nicole. Nicole is a student who always asks questions to dive deeper into discussions in class. DeLorean is a very inquisitive individual. He is always interested in trying to figure out how everything works. When he does figure things out, he is on to the next topic to pursue. Gabriel is the perfect student for this award. Because he is always showing curiosity in class, always asking questions, working hard, and doing his best. Aiden is a very inquisitive student. He oftentimes suggests assignments and projects and will not stop until he gets an acceptable answer. He looks deeper into the work. Michael has consistently shown the desire to soak up new information, whether it be from current events, classwork, or independent reading. Michael has demonstrated a strength in acquiring knowledge and actively demonstrating his intellectual curiosity. Lessie is never afraid to ask questions when she is unsure of something. Her inquisitiveness is a trait that helps her succeed in all she does. And these are our seventh grade students of the month. Okay, we are going to take on, we can understand. Ms. Downing will help you get up on stage. And seventh grade parents, family and friends, go ahead, come closer for a picture. deeper into thinking his questions in class reveal a keen sense of curiosity and creativeness. There is no doubt that he is most deserving of the most inquisitive student of the month. This is Zach. He is a wonderful young man who always who is always asking the right questions. And I am not talking about those trite meaningless questions. I'm talking about deep big picture questions. Aubrey is always asking clarifying questions to have a deeper understanding of new content. He is a curious student that he needs, to, he needs to know connections and the whys to things. The mindset makes him a great candidate for the inquisitive STEM award. Yaya has asked several questions about writing leading up to FSA rights. Her writing is a result of those questions has improved greatly. Haley is a once in a lifetime student. She, is, she works hard at everything she does. She always asks questions to further comprehend the content. She is never afraid to ask or question anything. Rose constantly perks up in class with statements like, but wait, doesn't that, or wait, couldn't that mean that these little insights that draw together prior knowledge from what we've already covered, what we have recently discussed, and are proceeding into show a very inquisitive mind that keeps the teacher on, my, on her toes and gives great pleasure to having her in class. Malia is an inquisitive student, always engaged in participating in class activities. She makes connections and shares her ideas to encourage and motivate others. This award goes to the student that is so curious, investigative about every decision, and asks the most questions in all classes combined. Congratulations, Sean Scott, for being the most inquisitive student. 
Tanya has approved in her ability to ask questions about her class and homework, going as far as asking me to award her a student of the month, to which I agree to. She is truly improving in all aspects of the class. And this is the eighth grade student of the month. Grandparents, I know you're out there, so feel free to come closer for a picture at this time. Next is teachers, that's right. I'm going to call Ms. Lamb back to the podium, and we just have a few more recognitions. because she uses her inquisitive ways to be a leader and guide others. Ms. McGlone, you are a valued member of our TBKA family. <laughs> Dr. Schwartz. Dr. Schwartz is naturally inquisitive. When approaching conversations or situations, she considers things from multiple perspectives, often asking questions for clarity and depth of understanding. With the information she learns, her inquisitive nature leads Dr. Schwartz to always having something meaningful to add to conversation. Thank you, Dr. Schwartz, for being a positive role model of inquisitivity. Well, then just stand there and they can all look at you. Look at the door, everyone. And finally, come on, Ms. Dory. Whether it's where you are going or where's your attendance, Ms. Merkel uses her powers of inquisitivity to ensure the Student Affairs Office runs smoothly. Without her questioning the small stuff, the Student Affairs Office and TVKA would be chaotic. Thank you, Ms. Dory, for everything you do at TVKA. Anyone who wants to come up and take pictures. 
Congratulations, feel free to do so.